baseball its first Indian ball player. That's a billion new fans. What do a billion new fans need? A billion hats, a billion t-shirts. And you want to set this up like it's a talent contest. Exactly. That will ensure maximum exposure of talent to press. See, once we go over there and find these guys, we bring them back here, we train them in L.A., and then we get them signed with a professional franchise. What an inspirational movie. You know, there's it one line in the movie that I really identified with, with, with your character, where Ash was like, uh, it really didn't matter what you did because you allowed other kids from India to dream this dream that you were living now. And I think that's like kind of something we deal with today in, in America a lot. First, how did this story come about? Was it really you looking at American Idol in between cricket and stuff like that? That's kind of um, a characterization, but it's, it's, not, it's not far off. I mean, my business partners and I, we wanted to find a Yao Ming. That was what our goal was. And so, you know, we were watching a cricket match. My, one of my business partners is from India, and I realized, like, how hard some of these kids could throw and that the motion wasn't that different. And then, you know, anybody who knows they want to search for talent, you know, you steal Simon Cowell's idea and you create a talent show that's yeah. on TV. Yeah. So... In essence, those were the two inspirations, but it, I wasn't necessarily sitting on a couch late at night flipping channels. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of how it came about. And, and I noticed that, that you hadn't played baseball before, but I mean, for you to throw a ball 80 miles per hour, I know you had javelin as as a as a background. Did you? Were you practicing a lot before the actual contest to get the ball <laughs> that control? Not, not really, not really. I think I think I I throw. Hard just because of uh, my javelin, you know, you know, as being a javelin thrower compared to baseball workout. Now I, I understand more uh, <clears throat> what's the difference between um, track and field and baseball. There's yeah. just there's nothing compared to track and field workout to yeah. baseball. Yeah. Baseball, it's like I would say, I don't even feel tired of working out in baseball. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Cause think about track and field. That's your own game. Yeah. That's your own game that you need to put. Like, you can't blame anybody if you lose. If somebody walk in front of you with a gold medal, you cannot blame somebody. In baseball, there are always you can blame. Catcher didn't give me this sign. Center field didn't play right. You know, defense did not play good. Yeah. D didn't hit for you. Exactly. <laughs> so there's, there's a nobody you can, you can count on and say he or she, just because of he or she, I didn't win the gold medal. It's really up to you. It's your game if you want to be a star. You got to put there, you know, and be a man. So I think I think the the strength I had from javelin, mm -hmm. and it just I really don't know how to throw a baseball. When first time I pick it up, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. So I had to kind of just, you know, throw it as my javelin style. Like sometimes we do a speed packing. Just well, how has your village, uh, how has the community actually in India received that? Has it become more of a a popular sport around and is it more people practicing now that the contest is still going in that they have um not yet but there is a couple places that um you know young kids that started playing baseball and like a uh, gova mumbai new delhi chandigarh right yeah. and uh bangalore bangalore or other yeah. couple other places it's not a huge but it's it's coming it's coming i think we're right at the front end of it the, the movie the book these are things that are going to help really get the word out in a way that, you know, we can only do so much with a contest going from city to city. Did you know you have, I mean, because sometimes people in the midst of it's like, this is a great movie. I mean, it, it, while this was going on, while this good stuff was happening, these ups and downs, did you see somewhere and they're like, this would be an excellent movie? I, I definitely did not, and I don't think, bring, you know, we were just thinking about making a baseball player, not right. making a movie. But luckily for us, the Mant brothers, came out and they started filming and they basically, they are the ones who really saw that this could be a great film and helped us down that path. Right. Did, what did you learn about yourself in this process? Because I know in the, in the movie there's a character arc, you know, that John Hamm displays, but through the process, like, you take us from beginning to end, like, how, how did you change in that? Well, I think the, the biggest change in me was getting outside of this myopic world where business was the only thing that mattered and understanding the importance of family, uh, the importance of being surrounded by people that you love and that love you, and, and to being able to take pride in other people's accomplishments. And I think that ultimately, those are the big changes that, that happen because of these guys and because of Brenda.